Hi friends, uh, in uh, some uh, earlier videos uh, you must have seen the uh, uh, street drawing uh, where there were by uh, reference of some perspectives also, we mentioned points also. Uh, today uh, uh, let me introduce you to a city skyline drawing. Okay, and city skyline drawing is a very simple drawing where you just have to have some uh, design analysis. Uh, and uh, uh, different kind of elements that is required to be put around in city skyline in terms of perspective. You know, here we are going to talk about like a two point perspective of a building uh, of a street. You know, if three points are possible, let, let me see if I can develop three point into that. Okay, let us draw the illustration and this follow up. This is my eye level. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to draw something like from the top to bottom like this is my body, you know. I'm standing exactly at this junction, like this, okay. And this is my eye level. So what I see like, uh, I see something down, I see something up and I see, see everything from the top view also, okay. So how do I uh, gradually go on to make the perspective, right. So this is one line I can think about drawing, okay. And I draw a few lines like this and let me create a structure, very typical part of a structure, right. So this is a structure of a building as you can see and then the building gradually goes down also some of the houses. Here there is a narrow space in between the building, you see that narrow space. So this line is going to taper with this. So I am reducing this lines, see how these lines are drawn. So you can see there is a space and then there is another uh, building on a house which is mm, mm, not having such a huge gap but lesser gap, lesser gap and this must have a vanishing point here and it must have a vanishing point here and if this is the wide, wider building it must have a top Vanishing point here, and the, if it's a backyard like this, it will be the back of the building, back side side wall of the building, then I make the vanishing point here. So you can see that I erase this line, this is no more required, I only get the dimension of this building. You know? And here you can see that this building, I can see the top. Here, I, I can't see the top, right? And some buildings, if I need to draw over here, is exactly on the eye level. Okay, there's no perspective concern, only that the building height would be enough. Right here, it is going to have a vanishing point like this. So you can see there are three different levels of building. Here you can see the top top roof of the building, a roof, okay, terrace. Okay, terrace of the building, the terrace is straight because of the eye level. Okay. And the terrace is angularly you know, drawn because it is above the eye level, you know, and this is you know, somewhere in the middle of the eye level. The gaps are also relevant because there are spaces. Here you, you may draw streets, elevation of the street. Okay, so you can see this elevation of the street is also like a part of drawing. So this straight foot path and this is supposed to be exactly like 90 degree. This is very important that you need to draw the foot path in, in 90 degree, 90 degree. You know, just like this. So in, exactly if you have 90 degree, it appears flat. If you happen to make it tilted, tilted like this, then it looks like a slope. Slope. So this is not a slope, this is a flat line. Okay? So this is not a slope. If you draw a slope, it becomes like this. This is not a slope. It's going to be flat. So make sure that you always mention 90 degree. So you render it like that. It's not required that you have to uh, draw lines, but you can just render. So render it like that, and for rendering, you can think about the, this is the road. Road, you can see. This is the road, right? The road is also like flat 90 degree with the base. Okay, so here as you can see that there is a kind of a sense of elevation. The road is broad, then there is a height, height on the footpath, 
and then the footpath and the building, right? And the building top, as you can see, are having in different layers in perspective. Here you can draw a lot of other things, like when we have very high uh, building at the back, when there's a building which is at the back, which is on a very high height, you know? So this perspective might look like this. So that's absolutely okay. You can see that there's a building, okay? Uh, this line is from joining, so I don't want to uh, make it like this. So let me uh, bring it here, okay? And reduce the perspective line to this side, okay? So this is fine, this is fine. So you can see that uh, height of the building is also in co coordinated perspective. So if you want to make a door, I uh, mean, uh, uh, window panes, windows, balconies and whatsoever, okay, uh, you can make the small uh, cutouts of the windows, you can just segregate, segregate depending upon the uh, requirement of the, your sketch, how you intend to make. So everything will be in accordance to the perspective line. Don't just apply perspective with the uh, building structure, but the each and every sizes must have perspective which is following two different vanishing points, okay. All the cars, all the people, all the lampposts. So for example, you want to make a lamppost over here. Okay, this lamppost is one, and then if you want to have another lamppost, this line should, you know, come in a perspective. Right? So there's another lamppost over here. If the lamppost is of a high order, say, for example, like this, the second lamppost will come over here. So even the lamppost will follow a kind of perspective method. It is not going to be just planned out anywhere you wish it like. So everything has a gradation provided there is a height, a uh, standard, a measurement standards. You depict everything in this style of sketches and put up a lot of details. Like here you can put up a lot of details of doors, windows, balconies. You can put up a lot of boarding, signboards. You can put up a lot of electrical uh, signals and uh, you know, uh, this lamppost. You can make small, small uh, trees also here. You know, maybe on the footpath there is a small plant. Uh, trees, so we, uh, this is the coconut tree. You don't know, like here, you cannot find perspective. One coconut tree uh, planted over here might have uh, a longer, uh, tall uh, coconut uh, tree out here, so it might not follow perspective. But if it's like regular perspective you want to impose on, then maybe you can think about that. Okay, as the, the coconut tree is gradually going down, it will be narrow and having a vanishing point. So it depends upon your own intention and skill of drawing. So the more you research, the more you practice, the more you observe all around the surrounding, you might be able to uh, get a good grab of the entire perspective drawing ideas. Okay. Keep practicing, friends. I hope you can do a far better and nice work. Okay. You are the future.